I know that there's uh, really disturbing uh, things going on around me right now. And there's a lot of so, 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 like a bunch of men are in rooms all around me conducting activity that I know I don't want to have anything to do with. Um, and they're still, I, 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 by saying so, they're all, and uh, the, 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 the thing that they're using my um, my posts as a way of uh, connecting me to activity I don't want to be a part of, as in. Uh, I'm nauseated on a constant basis uh, uh, to what people uh, ignore in regard to their own their uh, their own real world real time physical activity and the extent to which they use innocent uh, people to cover what they're doing. And I don't want to cover it. I don't want to cover pornography of any kind on any, any level. So as I'm posting and presenting my case against such activity uh, in um, and I'm actually simultaneously being used to cover the activity of creeps involved in activity I don't want to be a uh, part of. And I know my children don't want to be a part of either. Um, but right now I found uh, information about... I looked up really quickly Wyatt Earp and his resemblance comes into play to a man who I had met and he was residing on in a uh, like a boarding house um, on Route 40 that was right on the borderline of Baltimore City and Baltimore County. And this was ironically not too long before I met uh, Doug Warrington online and uh, and, um, and and within six months because I can't remember exactly when I started uh, corresponding or connecting to Doug Warrington online. In 1996, so I, I'm thinking it was about within uh, uh, six months of when I first uh, met Doug Warrington online that I it, we decided that I would move to Colorado. Um, and this man I met probably. I remember it was winter time, so it might have been three or four months before I uh, began an online relationship with Doug Warrington. And again, I'm trying to stay off of the side of, def uh, of defense, one, because I don't want to play defense for any football team, neither uh, on any level by proxy or otherwise. And I don't want to play defense or be on a defensive side in court because I'm an innocent person and I'm sick and tired um, So this man has a resemblance to Dennis Weaver who was an actor who was the uh, sheriff the, his character was the sheriff of uh, 
of Denver in the show. Um, can't remember the name I, it, it, the, uh, of the show. But when I look him up, uh, uh, he looks like Wyatt Earp. And Wyatt Queen, um, I'm not a Wyatt Queen. Um, but why, uh, um, as everybody knows and is reported and on, and is reported, unfortunately, in a romantic sort of by men that, you know, men are so wonderful because they were these freaking cowboy, uh, gunslinging, uh, law breaking, uh, sheriffs or and it, like, <laughs> Where was the line that they drew back then? What what made a person a uh, character good enough to be a sheriff when they're uh, uh, gamblers and 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 uh, patronizing um, uh, uh, what did they call them back then? Saloons, of course, but there was another name for them. Um. I, I I can't think of the name right now, but but he married a, a prostitute, and her name is Josephine, and in appearance she looks of African American descent, but according to her biography, she's of uh, Jewish. It just says that she was Jewish from what I can find on first glance. But she also has a resemblance to uh, Ma Bell. Um, and to Mr. Pike's Peak, uh, I can't think of his first name now. But these are all personalities and and uh real world characters that have been romanticized throughout uh american history and what is really romantic it kind of all leaves the upstanding female christian woman who was never a hooker and had no desire to be a hooker as the less respected and uh sort of you just you just freaking get lost kind of thing. Um uh, uh, existence, which is how I feel and how I've been treated. Uh well, you don't want to be a partier, you don't want to go to the bars, you don't want to be a hooker, you don't want to do drugs, you don't want to drink alcohol. You just freaking go over there and hope that we allow you to to uh to live. Oh, oh, and we're gonna take your children and we're gonna forget the fact that you have land ownership rights, and we're gonna tell you because you were homeless. Uh and we knew that you had land ownership rights, but we chose not to tell you that just like charlotte chose not to tell you that you had eight thousand dollars at least in an inheritance which she freaking held and didn't tell you that you had and then six months later when you were trying to buy a car in denver 1600 miles away um um because my land ownership rights uh, in research go back to like pioneer days and the $8,000 inheritance I'm talking about is more real time as in uh, 1999 thereabouts. And um, so this sort of, uh, oh, you're a nobody because you don't want to drink alcohol. You don't want to be a hooker. You don't want your children to be hookers. You don't want to do drugs. You don't want to sell drugs. 
So who the hell are you? Get lost because uh, as far as, you know, numbers and gun possession of guns and willingness to use guns, we got the upper hand. Sorry for my uh, tangent there. So Wyatt Earp has a facial resemblance to Dennis Weaver, the actor who played the sheriff of this show, which I think, if I'm remembering, took place in, like, 1970s. Like, it wasn't a show that was... Uh, that that was presented as as a, a show um, that took back the place in the in the pioneer days. I think, if I'm not mistaken, and we used to watch it fairly regularly. But he was the the um, sheriff in Denver, like in the 1970s. I want to say it within the show. I should look it up because I don't want to get that uh, information confused. Wyatt Earp obviously was of, from the information I just quickly did saloon solution um, and ended up marrying uh, a prostitute. And you can only assume that a photo that turns up um, of his wife before she was his wife and is she's wearing a very sheer uh that she was most likely a hooker or a prostitute in one of the the um and i think there was even some uh information that where that was uh where that information was actually stated Uh, her name is Josephine Marcus Earp. But right now, I'm looking for the show that Dennis Weaver was in because Dennis Weaver has a likeness not only to Wyatt Earp from obviously another era, um, but Wyatt Earp has a likeness to Dennis Weaver, who has a likeness to this man that I met before I met Doug Warrington online and within a year before I uh, had moved to Colorado in 1996. McLeod. The show is called McLeod. Let me see if I can, well, just by his, um, the, the clothes that he wore in the show, in this one photo, I can tell that I was right, I was recalling correctly, that that show which, what did I just say, was called? McLeod.
Deputy, Deputy Marshal Sam McLeod on the NBC police drama McLeod. He starred in the 1971, tell, oh, that's something different. But he has a connection to Steven Spielberg via television film Duel. I've never heard of that. And also... He played in an Orson Welles film, Touch of Evil, which I, I never thought of uh, Dennis Weaver as an evil uh, character, even as a child growing up. And his likeness to the guy who I, uh, I met before moving to the year before I moved to Colorado. And he was born in Missouri. So there's the connection to um, James Monroe. Or a connection to James Monroe. And now, again, I'm smelling that very cheap men's cologne. And a photo comes up of Orson Welles, who has now, I see a resemblance of, and my voice is going very, uh, as though I, like I'm being metaphysically buried in the uh, history of Hollywood as, uh, as I'm trying to bring forth Or some wells in a in a likeness to uh, uh, CPS Child Protected Services uh, representative within my uh, child protective or uh, my state's custody battle. Um, or some wells likeness to one of the uh, caseworkers who went by the name John Droulis. I, I got to sign off right now because I'm getting a, a, a uh, really distasteful, fed up. With all these famous people and politicians who have such uh self-entitlement to other people's children. <laughs> 